what are that sneaky cabal up to now? So, these bombings, these bombings of Hezbollah, all the he 5,000 of Hezbollah have been taken out. Now, first glance, since I've been reading the Bible, I've got quite pro Israel, I must admit. But you know, I know I'm just falling for it because I know it's all bollocks, I know it's all made up, and it's all about division. And it's working really well because even in the UK, everyone's completely divided over Israel and Palestine, even though it's got absolutely nothing to do with us. So, you know, I know it's all nonsense. And what is certainly, what was certainly a massive setup was it, is it the 8-7, like when all this started? When, I mean, it's just mad. Um, you know, the troops that were moved in Israel, the fact that these guys managed to get past this, you know, the most secure security, what do they call it, the dome, where they can track whether the squirrels walking past, uh, the fact that they moved um, the, the, not party, what was it, the, oh my god, what do you call them, the event, where uh, all the students were, who all got killed, we moved it right to the border, the fact that they could hear the Palestinians, uh, the, the locals could hear the Palestinians training for days before and they were telling the authorities and the authorities did nothing like weird 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 so that was all a massive setup and you could say well yeah of course that was just so they wanted to let the Palestinians attack so then they could level Palestine and that would all be very simple but I think it's more than that I think we're living under a cabal and I think everything you see in terms of individual nations is all just fake individual nations don't really exist the governments don't really exist and uh, yeah, we've all managed to get divided over an issue that's really got nothing to do with us. So I'll be honest, you know, living back in my parents' house, you know, I mean, I'm still very aware, but you know, you can almost almost forget that we're controlled by a cabal. And when I heard about those bombings, so for those that don't know, the Israelis supposedly the story goes that the Israelis found out that Hezbollah. We're going to start using pages instead of mobile phones. They found the factory where these pages were getting made in Hungary. They put explosives in them, waited for them to get out to Hezbollah guys, and at the same time, blew them all up and blew the heads off all the top Hezbollah guys. Amazing. Amazing military operation. Very impressive. When I first heard about it, from Charlie Veach, who's a massive Israelite, I was like, hmm, that's impressive. Go, go, Israel. But then I read this. I remembered that nothing, nothing happens for no reason in this world. Everything's a false flag. And, you know, I'm, you know, I want your help. This is a two-way thing. What are they up to? Because, you know, so let's read this. So this means that every single electronic device is now capable of blowing you up. That means smart watches, cell phones, smart TVs, Siri, Alexa, ring a doorbell, your child's tablet, and wait, it gets better. You won't be laughing when not a single electronic device is allowed on a plane, not even in cargo. So say goodbye to your cell phone, laptop, any other electrical devices at the airport. Make no mistake, this has implications for us all. So we've seen, you know, they create a problem and they provide a solution. So there was that one where yeah, when we when they stopped letting us have liquids on planes, there was that guy that tried to make a bomb with a liquid on there and ended up burning his cock off or something like that. Now again, false flag. Here's your solution. I mean, every single one. 9/11. Uh, why did they do that? So they could bring in a load of terror laws, which are now getting used against the people. Uh, school shootings. Why are they doing that? So they can take away guns. So when they uh, when they take you over and give you a universal basic income. And, so you've got to get in smart cities, there's not anything you can do about it because you don't have a gun anymore. So, this is the same, obviously. So what are they up to? Because, you know, my thinking is they want us all turned into AI bots, essentially. So it doesn't seem to make sense that they want to take all our electronic devices off us. But then at the same time, we are all awakening through our electronic device, devices. You know, I mean, the stuff that gets shared on X nowadays very enlightening and even on Facebook right now which is weird so uh, kind of makes sense from that point of view but I can't really get my head around it so let me know in the comments what you think the cabal are up to with this one or do you just think yeah you know, well, let's make it easy for you let's give you three options so option one I'm a mad conspiracy theorist 
and all of this is very real and yeah it's just a random one-off event just like every other event nothing's linked there's no crazy cabal put number one in the comments number two would be that everything is linked everything's planned and they want to take our devices off us so that would be number two number three would be Everything's linked, I can see that, but I think this one might be real, because, you know, there's got to be the odd thing that happens that's real, right? I mean, I've got to a point where pff, I don't think anyone, you know, even these recent stabbings we've had, because no one stabs kids, not 14 days in a row. Stupid. Um, so, number three, yes, everything's linked, yes, we live under a cabal, but this is actually real, and we're not going to take our devices off us. Number four, something else. I can't think of anything else, so if you do put number four, then let me know what the something else is. All right, I'd be really interested to see what you think, because I honestly can't get my head around this one. Uh, what are they up to this time? Let me know in the comments. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you. See you later. Um, reaction, solution. Every time, same process. And guess what the solution always is? You lose your rights.